Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles uh, love reading for Aquarius. How are you guys? Hope all's well. Aquarius, there we go. We got the uh, Queen of Cups. I'm feeling, you know, feeling the love here. Let's see some of you are ready for love. I feel like it could be a little sad here. Yeah, so there's been some heartache. Uh, maybe some hurt feelings here. We'll see what that's all about. Aquarius. If it's not yourself, it's someone around you. You know, a little Libra energy. It has to do with someone, some, some somebody judged somebody, maybe hurt their feelings. Okay, so there was some sort of judgment here. Somebody that was hurtful. Yeah, I do see a Libra energy. Yeah, there you are, Aquarius. Yeah, see, it's an energy where um, situation didn't serve, but it's something I feel like you really wanted. Yeah, definitely heartache. I feel a decision. Maybe you made a bad choice or decision where a situation didn't serve. I feel like you're going to let this go. I do think you're going to heal from this. Yeah, I'm not going to say third party because I feel heartache. Someone judged somebody and somebody hurt somebody here by judging them. Judging someone wrong. Yeah, so someone holding on to this though. It's an urge of someone, see, very much focusing on something here. Focusing on one thing. Somebody's not budging or moving or it's just, we'll see what this is. Because that four of pentacles, those fours can mean some interesting things depending what's around them. Yeah, so someone is having that little aha moment. So it has to do with a truth, a victory. There's going to be some kind of truth here because someone focusing on something. Someone's not budging, not moving. Yeah, this could be a situation that's not serving. But like I say, there's been some heartache. This is someone who wants love. Yeah, it has to do with someone seeing the bigger picture. See that aha moment? They see the bigger picture here. Yeah, someone wasn't budging or moving. Yeah, we got someone feeling blue, feeling sad. Yeah, someone who feels like there's not a lot of hope, but it's also someone feeling a little, you know, a reg little regret here. Mm -hmm. And then we have this, um, someone feeling a little overwhelmed too, possibly, but it's, it has to do with some kind of communication. Someone is seeing the bigger picture. See, now they see the bigger picture. They're seeing the truth. This is someone maybe feels a little ashamed for judging someone, hurting them, because someone's feeling sad. Aww. This is not so different than Aquarius's, or pardon me, Libra's. Libra Aquarius. <laughs> Yeah, so I do think someone needs to apologize. Yeah, I'm going to reach out, maybe apologize. This is someone feeling a little apprehensive, though. Like I see, feeling a little overwhelmed. But it's someone who kind of feels like they kind of need to hurry up and do this, though. Yeah. Don't know why they did it, but um, this is judgment. They Someone judged somebody. Yeah, someone definitely judged somebody. Somebody wrong, hurt feelings. I don't see third party, so let's have a look at the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is someone who was waiting for something. See, waiting for a situation to come to fruition. So, I feel we have this Queen of Cups waiting for someone to reciprocate, waiting for news. But, like I say, there's been a judgment, some heartache, yeah. See, the situation, it has to do with whether the feelings are mutual. So I feel this is both people kind of feeling a little hurt here. But like I say, it's a situation that didn't serve. So this is the person I feel here. I feel, some, Aquarius, you're letting some of this go. You're trying to let go, but I feel like you're still kind of holding on to it. Yeah, that's what I feel all this is here. Yeah, the chariot. See, it has to do with someone putting on the brakes, taking another look. So this is person feeling bad. Yeah. It has to do with someone, you know, I do see an energy of someone kind of took control of a situation or lost control. I'm just going to, I'm going to clarify the chariot there. I mean, the chariot's someone trying to control their emotions. They try to not get emotionally connected. Yeah, see, there's that four of pentacles. See, there's some sort of confirmation with that here. 
Let's see. I don't think this is two people who've let go of this. They're still holding on to it. Like I feel, you know, there's definitely both of you feeling sad the way something happened or what happened. You know, there we have this, someone seeing true. See, look at that. Mm -hmm. So it's an energy of some a little time in between. Things calming down, moving into calmer waters. It has to do with someone releasing a situation or something that didn't serve, that's for sure. But it also has to do with whether the feelings are mutual, like somebody wanted to know if someone felt the same and then somebody hurt the other person's feelings. And I'm going to tell you, they were mutual. I don't know why this person did it, why they put on the brakes, because they're not. nobody's budging or moving. No one's moving here, but you're still holding on to this. It's not holding a grudge. I mean, maybe it's someone who feels someone's holding a grudge. Maybe you're both thinking that way, but I don't think that's what it is. It could be. But yeah, it has to do with this person. See, they're going to take action to communicate. It has to do with someone taking somebody out on a date. I don't know if this is someone at a distance, but I feel like it's more like a disaster that could have been avoided. Now, this is something that could have been avoided. Uh huh. See, that's the truth. It could have been avoided. Yeah, but both people are holding on. Like I feel that stuck energy. Yeah, see, feeling lack, feeling low, someone ghosting someone, ignoring them, um, just feeling lack and lonely. So someone definitely having some regrets. Yeah, it has to do with um, the two of wands, the path that somebody was on. Somebody was definitely in a negative space, a self-fulfilling prophecy. So like I say, I feel as if someone was at a crossroads or at, at that time in their life. Yeah, the path where they were, see, Le making peace with the past. Someone's now made peace with the past. They've left something behind, but they've learned something because some time has gone by. Yeah, still holding on. It's not two people who haven't really let go of this. You both wanted it. Like I said, I feel you both wanted this to happen. Like you wanted love, but it didn't. There was some hurt because someone ghosted someone, ignored them. Some time has passed, though. Yeah, now we have the King of Wands. Yeah, someone at a crossroads. And now we have Eight of Swords. Yeah, so someone can't stop thinking about it. They can't stop. They feel so bad. They, I feel they feel kind of ashamed. Because I feel like this is someone who, it's not really how they would behave. I feel they got overwhelmed or there's going to be an explanation and an apology. Yeah. So someone who got overwhelmed, but they can't. I, and I feel both of you can't stop thinking about what happened and why, because it has to do with why. Yeah. Tell me about the two of wands. Yeah. See, some. this is somebody who had just ended something at a crossroads at this time. You see? Yeah, you can see it. It's a person who was making peace with their past or, I don't know, it could be someone who's in the middle of something, moving, relocating, but I really don't feel for most 99% of you that would be the case. It has to do with this person. Um, it has to do with a date. Something didn't go well. Okay, maybe you had a date and then this person just put on the brakes and ended it, but I feel they weren't over something or they had just ended something. A little Scorpio energy. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag. I mean, there's all kinds of energies here. It really could be anyone. It's just the energy. But let's have a look at this Eight of Swords. What's this person thinking? Yeah, see, it has to do with taming the beast, being confident. This person's generally mature. Like, I feel they they have self-control and all that. Mm -hmm. But they lost control of their emotions. So, like I say, they put on the brakes. They weren't over something. Or, like I say, it, it's something that kind of ended it or this ending could have been avoided this could have been avoided yeah now tell me about this prince of cups yeah this is someone's reminiscing see they're looking at what happened here reminiscing longing for love could be someone missing someone but it's a person who just kind of reminisces they they kind of romanticize this too like they haven't let go what is this King of Wands going to do? What is their intentions? Yeah, Two of Pentacles. The other way in the pros and the cons where they should reach out. I feel like, you know, they're 
generally a very confident person, but now they're feeling a little apprehensive. I've been seeing a lot of this energy. It's got to be something planetary going on with people. I've been seeing it for a couple of weeks. Really steady. Generally very bold and goes after what they want and then feeling a little apprehensive. Because mm -hmm. they're thinking about it. They feel bad. Okay, reminiscing. They're looking what happened. They probably just lack the confidence for some reason, but I feel they're gaining confidence. They're generally somebody who's, you know, um, stable, you know. They're just they're just not someone who um, generally does this, but yeah, you can see someone trusting their intuition. I feel like you already know. They know the answers they're seeking, or you do. Yeah. But it's an energy of someone who kept it all in. They kept something to themselves. Kept it all in. A little secret. It doesn't have to be a secret, though. Like, this is the keeper of secrets. This is often a person who, you know, where everything isn't black and white, and they just kind of keep it in. They keep it all in and trust their intuition. So it's something very internal. Tell me a bit more about the strength card. Yeah, so someone definitely... Uh, financially stable, they're grounding themselves. So they're planning and preparing. They're getting ready for something. They're weighing the pros and the cons. Or, like I say, they've been kind of procrastinating because like I, I do feel, like I feel what this person feels if they reach out to you, you know, you might not reciprocate. You may not be interested. You might not feel the same. It may not be mutual. Um, but there is, this is, like I say, um, this mutual energy of two people. It's healing. It's coming together to heal. Somebody wasn't over this. And I feel we have someone who was very kind and compassionate here. Were you being kind and compassionate? Aquarius? Hmm? Yeah, three of pentacles. See, cooperating, compromising. Somebody wanting to... It's often somebody who self-sacrificing. Now, I'm going to be honest. What I think is this person sabotaged something. I don't feel like they meant to, but they did. And it could have been the feminine who did. Because that's what popped into my head when I said self-sacrificing. And it was like, nope, self-sabotage. Because it has to do with um, going down this path, two people building each other up. But there was hurt and heartache. Somebody who may have felt there was a lack of things in common, lack of compatibility. But there's like this energy of this of uh, collaborating coming together see working to heal to talk to talk about something yeah now we have an emperor see this is this is someone who's definitely leveled up they're actually an emperor energy so this is a person who's putting on the brakes they're now taking another look yeah they feel bad i'm telling you they do feel bad because i feel that's not their mo uh, generally because mm -mm. something was definitely off here. I mean, you some it, it's over. Something ended. Maybe they think it's over and they can't, you know, they could be thinking this is over. It's too late. See, too late. I don't think it's too late. It's never too late to reach out and apologize. Could be closure for some of you. Okay. But it has, it could be this other person maybe waiting for closure from something else. Yeah, there we have someone taking that leap of faith. Someone feels like a little bit of a fool. Yeah, but this is someone who generally will take a risk, you see. But like I say, they're a little apprehensive. <laughs> they're looking at this. And when they, we know the King of Pentacles is generally very confident about themselves, their life plan, where they're going. But yeah, yeah it's a very capable person, though. But yeah, see, a painful period in someone's life is now over. So this person was going through an ending. So like I say, I feel this is someone who regrets hurting, hurting you, okay? I, I really feel that. Um, they could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They are an emperor. They're stable financially, but you can see an ending. This person actually feels this is over. It's too late. Yeah, see, that you may have moved on. And they're weighing the pros and the cons if they should reach out and kind of, you know, test this to see. And I do think they're going to spontaneously. They're going to push through that fear and just do it. They're going to push through the fear, you know, the fear that you won't be interested. I don't think, I think this person feels more ashamed of the way they 
that they hurt somebody, somebody who was so caught being kind and compassionate, someone who's showing they cared. Maybe you gave a little gift or you showed them you cared and then they hurt you. Yeah, they were definitely going through something. It's like I say, it's someone who's been keeping it to themselves here. Yeah, the high priest and the high priestess. <laughs> you both know. I'll tell you right now, you both know the answers you're seeking. But it has to do with someone who has faith in themselves. Okay? It's about being on the same page. This is somebody generally with good morals and values. Absolutely good morals and values generally. Whatever they did, I don't know, ghosted, ignored, made you feel like you weren't good enough. And I'm going to tell you, it's their own insecurity because of what ended. So like I say, they, they feel like a fool. Yeah, they feel like a fool because they've missed this opportunity here. Look at that, a house and a home, a reason to celebrate. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's the temperance. And I knew this was going to come because uh, for one, we're in an energy of that right now for some reason. Temperance is just like everywhere. It shows up in the reading. If I use three decks, it'll show up three times. <laughs> it's about preparing, being calm, uh, making a head and heart decision. Mm -hmm. See, this is someone after a period of time when things calm down, they're now seeing things different. I mean, this could be something forgivable because I do see kindness, compassion. And someone here is hoping for some forgiveness here, hoping you can forgive them. But there is going to be an explanation and some truth about why. They'll even tell you why. You know, I feel you went on a date and something didn't go well. I don't know if they were ignoring you, ghosting you, or just something wasn't right. Something felt off. I do feel off. obviously something was off. They had just ended something. They should have told you the situation didn't serve. See, some of you, the feminine feels this didn't serve. Like, like what the heck happened here? So, but yeah, they're coming in to talk here. I feel it's going to be more than a little... Uh, apology yeah they want to make things right see peace and harmony peace love and joy yeah this is general yeah they're going to tell you why they're going to speak truth see they know this could have been something good here a successful connection um but that's that little aha moment i do feel they're trying to come up with some kind of idea to kind of communicate maybe break the ice a little bit here because of that apprehension, yeah, they're going to offer you something stable. So they're coming in, they're going to, they're coming in right, they're going to build the foundation, see, building the foundation on something more stable. I feel this is someone who just entered a relationship, and they were just feeling off, they weren't feeling right, um, definitely in a very negative headspace. So, boy, so many people connect before they heal and that's what i mean they they wanted it though this is the thing they really wanted this i mean they're taking a really good hard look at this situation they're going to come in and take the lead they know they need to take the lead they know they need to be the one to apologize i do feel they have good morals values some old school rules but i feel they feel ashamed for the way they conducted themselves they might even give you a little gift or something here could be flowers but it's really it's it's solid reliable it could be something you can hold in your hand maybe something special something sweet you know uh, well if you gave this person something i wouldn't doubt if they're holding on to it and looking at it too because often the queen of cups will give gifts to show someone they like them often cook for people do nice things but i feel there was a little gift something sentimental so this person's probably looking at it and feeling pretty lousy so yeah, they're definitely seeing things from a whole different perspective, a whole different light. Yeah, they say if they would have known, <laughs> if you if you would have known, Aquarius, if you would have known, from the feminine perspective, if you're a masculine, if you would have known, things would have played out different. It would have been different, regardless of who you are. But this feminine definitely here. Yeah, I feel there's kindness, compassion. I feel there's there could be some forgiveness here. Yeah. So I'm just going to pull out a couple of moonology cards. I like to do that when there's a reading that's got a lot of sadness when I think about it. So let's have a look. 
Yeah, see, making time for self-love, self-care. So it's an energy of someone who didn't make the time to take a little break and heal and kind of release this negativity before they uh, came in. But you can see this is someone who's moved on. Now, they've gone through a lot of change, internal change, because this is over. So this is somebody generally rising like the phoenix from the ashes. So when that ten of swords is there and the king of wands, that's... It's kind of a, it's a Sagittarius energy, but we we're just in a lot of those energies there. It's an energy of someone who's sometimes hard to pin down. Um, often it's a person who's it's a hard time to get them to commit because they this is a person who waits for exactly the right person because they do. It's often a person who values their freedom, freedom to explore until they meet the right person. But they there's definitely regret. Yeah, so someone stepping into their power. Some of you, it's an Aries. You know, they're stepping into their power. You can see that. So, yeah, if you have Aries in your chart, it could be yourself. You may have taken your power back from this person at some point. But I feel this is a masculine taking their power back from this energy. Yeah. They're just going to take the lead. Yeah, this is someone trusting. The, look at that Aquarius. Trusting in the universe. Um you know, I feel there's, you know, this person's definitely, there could be have been some bit of trust issues, but I feel that you, you know, it's trusting in the plan here, the divine plan. This person will definitely come forward. I feel they've gone through a lot of change. They've definitely moved on. Yeah, it's an energy of someone honoring how, see, putting the shoe on the other foot, how the other person feels. This person generally does that, but they didn't at that time because they were at that crossroad they just come apart from someone so it's just coming apart from someone then coming together with someone else so that's what i feel i feel like the the feminine may have started this i'm seeing a lot of that lately too yeah but it has to do with someone honoring someone's feelings yeah they're gonna go for it they're gonna take a leap of faith but they are looking at this from different perspectives different angles before they come in yeah, but they're going to go for it. I feel like there's, quite honestly, if you have Aries in your chart, Aquarius, or even maybe Sag, I feel Aries is pretty strong uh, here for some of you. That way, you, know, you may push through that fear and give this person another opportunity here. Because like I say, there's time in between. There's healing. Things have kind of calmed down. Lessons have been learned. Truth you know, some realizations here about harmony, about someone who's just right. See, this is someone who also realized they were with somebody who wasn't right for them. Now, some of you, it could be yourselves that have done that too. But this is about waiting for the one. This is someone looking at that. And there's the sun shining. So yeah, I do see it. Some of you could just move on. You could connect with someone else. I definitely see some of you... As I say, it's not quite written in stone yet here. You may wait for, for somebody new to come in, but I feel this person wants another opportunity. I definitely feel they're happier, high, more high vibrational, uh, beautiful energy. Yeah? So someone making a, a very positive <laughs> decision, very happy decision. So it's up to you to decide. You can either wait for somebody else to come or um, talk to this person. Some of you... Um, there is definitely um, possibly a couple opportunities, but I feel the main one is this emperor. So wish you the best. It's about release and renew. See, someone releasing, healing, and I feel like it's this person and getting ready for new. So take care and we'll see you soon.